Okay. So this is our Muskogee Canoe Pedal project. Uh, about three years ago, four years ago, uh, we went to Alabama, back to the homeland. Uh, we got a poplar tree to make some canoes out of. Uh, we wanted to, to bring back the canoe making. This is a traditional dugout canoe. Uh, since then, we went back to Alabama, got another log. Uh, like I said, this one's, this one's poplar. The next one's gonna be cypress. Uh, I have another log that I'll probably start here in, the, in this fall. Um, after we got the canoe built, I did a paddle out of the same wood. Um, just to have a paddle with it. Uh, once I did this, uh, Kenneth Johnson um, and myself had talked about the canoes, the, the paddles, what it meant to our people. Um, then we went to, to Washington State and we went on a, a Nisqually canoe journey. Uh, that, that journey was over 700 miles. So after that started, we started talking about maybe doing more paddles. Um, that conversation went to, you know, we ought to do some paddles and let our Muscogee Creek artists um, do whatever they do. If they paint, we could get them to paint a paddle. If they carve, they could carve a paddle. Wood burning, um, just whatever they do. And so we ended up coming up with that uh, Muscogee Canoe Paddle project. So. This project, what we hope to happen will be, uh, it'll be a traveling exhibit. We're gonna to try to take it to different states. Um, we're, we're starting this one to, for the festival. Um, from here, it'll go to the college for a couple weeks. Uh, there's a possibility it'll go to UCLA in Los Angeles in July. Um, it'll go to Santa Fe, New Mexico in August. Um, it'll go to Macon, Georgia, to Altmoggy National Park um, in September. Um, and there's a possibility that it'll go to uh, the Smithsonian for a couple of weeks in maybe November. Uh, this particular artist right here, her name is Tony Scott. She is a creek, she is a well known um, um, artist she does a lot of sculpting and different types of things but she also does painting so i made this paddle actually siobhan hill kind of picked out the design as i was making the different paddles I, I tried not to make them all the same and so siobhan helped me with this one as far as the style goes we sent it to her and she did some awesome work uh, Kelly Haney, who is also a Muscogee Creek artist, he did this one right here. He actually cut out his own paddle. I didn't make the paddle, he did. Um, he's got a little swan, uh, a crane or what ceremonial bird in here um, with broken glass and different things and this one actually lights up. This one here is done by John Tiger. Um, he had put a gar in it with a, uh, a low jaw, a turtle, um, some Muscogee and art with the paddle, but he also painted it on this side. Um, he's got his clan in here and also the, the white crane, our ceremonial bird in the very top. Like I said, this one was the original paddle. This is the first paddle that actually started this whole deal. So we have it here. Johnny Daikon uh, did this one here. Um, some awesome, awesome beadwork that he did and also the painting. So he's got a Muskogee, dressed in Muskogee style um, attire. Um, a picture of a paddle in a canoe right here. But what's really neat about this and then I love about this one is when you turn it around, it's the back side of it. So you can see him paddling forward and this way it's going away. So man, he did a really, really awesome job. I know he's got a lot of time in that beading. That's a lot of beads and it really looks nice. Uh, Dan Beaver, um, I had actually gave him the wood and he actually cut out his paddle himself and then decorated it up. So he's our light, works with our light horse. He does a lot of, lot of work like this on different types of wood and so we're really happy about this one. Uh, we have another, we have quite a few artists. There's about, there's gonna be about a total of 15 paddles um, once we get done. Um, Scotty Harjo, um, he's supposed to have his here today. 
Um, so we'll add to that collection right here. We also have a Seminole Creek, Pedro Zepeda, uh, that lives in Florida that has done or is working on one. And his has actually got an alligator head already carved in it. And so he's doing the back and the tail for the rest of it. So that's really going to be nice. But that's what we're doing. That's what this is all about. Um, it was a way we felt like that we could honor our ancestors, not only by trying to keep the canoe making and the paddle making it alive, but also our artists, uh, a tribute to our artists. We really have a lot of talented, talented Muskogee artists, and so we're really proud of them, and, and it's a good way to, to showcase their work. So, and that's about it. That's our Muskogee Canoe Paddle Project.